Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be going over the sad life of Hailstorm and his true struggles that we never got to see explained very well in the books. Keep in mind that this does have spoilers for ARC 2, so this is your spoiler warning. Like I say in every video, if you get spoiled because you didn't listen to the warning, that's not my fault. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. Hailstorm is quite an underrated character in Wings of Fire and I feel like his story is honestly one of the more sad ones. He grew up in the Icewing Palace, feeling forced to stay in the first circle. This was such a stressful position for him, even if he played it off as not being so bad in the prologued winter turning. I feel like Hailstorm always picked on his brother because he was insecure by himself and always had to act like royalty. When he was kidnapped by the Skywing, Winter and Icicle missed him a lot. However, being turned into a pirate was probably the best thing to happen in Hailstorm's life. Chameleon used part of his scroll to turn any dragon wearing the pirate necklace to become a weak and insecure Skywing who would always stay loyal to Queen Scarlet. The Icewing royal family assumed he had just been taken prisoner, but if I'm being honest, this is probably better for him. Forgetting his past life as Hailstorm allowed him to finally realize what life was like without stress, and he was able to live a somewhat normal life for a few years. However, when Winter took the necklace off, Pyrite turned back into Hailstorm. If you pay attention to the context clues shown in Winter Turning, Hailstorm actually wanted to stay as Pyrite. This is likely because of the royalty stress he had to live with, as well as constantly trying to stay in the first circle and impress his family. He probably felt free as Pyrite, even though it was just a spell. When Winter tried on the necklace, he hated the feeling of being pirate, but that could be because him and his brother are actually a lot different. You can tell the Hailstorm wished he could put the necklace back on again, but felt pressured by Winter and had to live with himself. He didn't want to become an Icewing again, and this is likely because of the hard life he faced back in his home. Just the fact that Hailstorm wasn't willing to kill Winter in the Diamond Trial showed that he didn't care about his first circle ranking after he experienced life as pirate. I feel like Winter's actions towards Hailstorm show his true character because he wasn't willing to listen to what his brother wanted. I am aware that Winter was very stressed and had just gotten his brother back and didn't want to lose him again, but he never took the time to think about what Hailstorm really wanted. I think that his life story is one of anxiety and peer pressure and the fandom should pay more attention to this tragedy. I know that the pirate form wasn't perfect and was enchanted to have many faults, but I think that Hailstorm would have rather been pirate than himself. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.